hey guys, let's build this little hexagon end table. Now the cool thing about this table is that I built it using a single 1x10 board, but I designed it such that if ripping boards on a table saw is not your thing, you can build it using only 1x2 boards. Let's get started. Like I said, I started out with a single eight foot long one by 10 board. I measured and cut off a part of the board and saved it to build the top. The rest of the board got ripped into one and a half inch strips on the table saw. Since these strips are an inch and a half, which is the actual width of one by twos, if you don't want to go through this step, you can totally skip this and build using only one by two boards. Once I had them all ripped, I took them over to my miter saw and cut them up into the lengths I needed. Essentially, we have 12 long cuts and 12 short cuts to make up the six frames for the sides of the hexagon. Now to assemble the hexagon. I decided to use dowel joinery so I had strong concealed joints. To do so, I marked the centers of each of the joints using my multi-mark tool. In this case, it's three quarters of an inch. Also, I numbered the joints so I don't mix them up. Then I aligned my dowel jig to the center line and clamped it. And then I just drilled the dowel holes. I set my bit to the depth I wanted it to drill to, which is a little more than half the length of the dowels. In this case, the dowels I'm using are one and a half inches. So I set the drill bit to be at about five eighths of an inch. This dowel jig is super simple to use and it costs under $25. I have a link to it in the description below. Once all the cuts were made, I added glue into each of the holes, added the dowels, and put the frame together. And then I clamped them tight and left them to dry overnight. I built six of these for each side of the hexagon table. Next, I set the table saw blade at 60 degrees away from the fence and set up the fence as close as possible and cut off angles on each of the frames. Now it's time for the glue up. Now I've seen similar smaller projects clamped and put together using only tape. And I tried to do so too with a band clamp in the mix. However, this table was too huge to support its own weight during the glue up. So I did end up using a couple of brad nails to hold the whole thing together while I assembled and then clamped it overnight to dry. Now to cut the top, I used the hexagon frame I built to trace out the top on the remaining piece of the 1x10 board. And then I cut it out using a jigsaw. The top is made of two pieces, so I glued them together and let them dry overnight. Once the top was ready, I attached it using a strong glue and a few little L brackets from the bottom. I decided to paint the legs in a deep teal and stain the top in a light brown. And I'm totally digging this color combination and I have all the details in the description below. And also don't forget, you can get the plans for this build as well in the link in the description below. If you love this video, I think you will also like this little floating ladder shelf I built some time ago. Or you might like this video. And please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out any of my future videos. Bye!